money about to change me. That type of talking got me angry. A lot of people trying to play me. Me and the fan base looking like an A-team. How you telling people that we family? Hold up. Yeah, when you ain't even mad me. That's the type of thing that made us... Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. All right, here he is making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new UFC light heavyweight champion. He is the number one ranked 205 pound contender and is finally realizing the title fight here tonight. He believes he has a lot of advantages in this fight. He believes he's the better man. Look at the confidence on his face. No UFC jitters for this man. He is out to prove tonight that this champion is a one trick pony and that he is the best light heavyweight on the planet. We'll see if he can turn those words into actions here in short order. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of his cage tonight as the new champion. So here he is, the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, looking to walk out the same way he is walking in tonight as the undisputed reigning defending champion. No doubt this man walks in as the best 205 pounder in the world. He proved it when he won the belt, proved it when he has defended it since. Now the question is, as the challenges get stiffer, Joe, is he still the best in the world? A lot of people think he is. We'll get our answer in short order. The champion is in focus, he is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. All right, now let's get you our tale of the date for this light heavyweight championship fight. Gustafson is 13 years the elder. He is three inches taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Lovey. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! I love for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the world. It's first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 47 wins, 18 losses. He stands 65 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, presenting the challenger, Alexander the Marlon And now he is the champion. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, one loss. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of New York, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, man, we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go, UFC light heavyweight title is on the line. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion, and what a fight it was for him his last time out, winning the belt by vicious knockout. We're expecting massive pay-per-view buys here tonight because when you turn in a result like that in a championship setting, your fan base grows exponentially. You've seen his Twitter followers soar. Now he'll try to follow up that effort with another knockout in this title fight here tonight. 
He is throwing that right with fight ending intentions. Oh! Vicious combinations. Starts to get the combination going with the fists. Good defense there. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Oh, clipped him with the jab. Well, there it is again. That's where he might attack, and right on cue he does. Big left hook coming, it's right. Oh, and he goes back to the hook, so right on cue, we called for it. There it is, and he connects. He's looking for that elbow. And he connects there. He lands a huge elbow to the head. Just over two minutes to go. Good elbow. And both guys really throwing with authority. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there for the champion. He went for an elbow. Nice kick there by Gustafson. He got tagged there. Now he goes for the single leg. Throwing that jab now again. He's done. He's in trouble. Oh. This could be it right here. Big body shot. shot body. Might get the TKO here. Big shot through the top. He's out. He's out. He's out. the ground and pound to finish the fight, Joe. That is as good an offensive execution as we have seen on the ground in recent memory. One big shot after the next. He wasn't just trying to score or buy time before the referee stood them up. He was trying to pound his opponent out of there, and that is exactly what he did. You wonder if some fighters will watch this footage and learn from that high-level offensive execution when it comes to the ground and pound. Let's see that again. Boom! Right on the money. And there he is, the king of the 205ers, the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, and no better way to get the job done than he did tonight by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called to stop to this contest at four minutes of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. champion of the world and you want to talk about style points how about the knockout in defense of his title here tonight i don't know that i've ever seen that type of reaction out of his corner they're usually measured and tempered but they wanted this one in the worst way they got it they got the finish and the celebration is officially on congrats to the 205 pound king